IBM had this uh, hardware, uh, this mainframe machine called 1401. I think you should maybe spend a minute telling our viewers <laughs> about 1401 because. Yeah, Maybe this some is, geeks uh, have read about it. Mainframe, and the people today don't even know what mainframe computer is. Yeah. Sometimes it is like falling in love. You like that idea, love that idea so much because it has come from a forward view. You get blindsided on all the defects to that idea. To answer your question on the pattern, one thing that I do is to be also a critique of that idea. So you said you will find the seed of change embedded. The seed of the change that you see today, I would look for that beneath the haystack or try and find the needle. Hmm. That I think is the, is the skill that I would say you need today. It's necessary to continue to be learning no matter how old you are, uh, no matter what uh, different subjects you are faced with. You would always find that there is something that you can do to change that for the better. When you hit that spot, that's when you begin to start adding value to your learning. What are the best practices of entrepreneurs that a manager should remember? And the best practices of a good manager that an entrepreneur would you know, do well to keep in mind? So it is the knowledge of the current situation and look for that one, one change that is happening. It's a spark, but you've got to be very, very conscious of that spark. Then you can catch it. Spirituality and science are not contradictory. But to say that uh, science has proved everything uh, about spirituality is equally wrong. But I find that the direction is very similar. At what point did you say, you know, this is where data ends and instinct begins? That intuition ultimately is stored the data of many things. That's why they say when you love somebody, they appear more beautiful, right? Because your brain is building the remaining 50% to make it probably look better than it quote unquote physically is. The actual pixels that come out of Rishikesh is not 100 percent. Right. Science tells you that. Brain fills up the balance. You know, this is probably in 2000 and I was doing a lot of uh, travel around the truck centers. There is a broker who will be sitting for getting all the goods which are coming out from the various manufacturers, which I intended to go to from Calcutta to Chennai. And I said, why do we need this kind, kind of a broker at all? Why can't we use just technology to do that? This is 2000. Uber was not even there. Right? Yeah. There was no mobile phone penetration. We opened some 140 kiosks around in truck centers. But a guy who would have a, a computer in front and who, instead of the broker, the, the, the lorry drivers would come to him and he would log in uh, that these are the lorry drivers who are available to take the stuff. And we will have shippers who are sitting in their offices who would log in to say, I've got this kind of a cargo to be taken to China and you'll make the match. mechanic match. But I failed in that. I failed in that because I had not sufficiently understood the complexities of this problem. But to me, that is a big, it would have been a big game, game changer. Whenever you want to do that, make the change, it's very important that you have a deep understanding of all dimensions of that proposal you're going to make, which is again something very important for an entrepreneur.